This is one of the most important decisions an MP can make, and it's not one that I have taken lightly. ISIL pose a clear threat to Britain. 30 British holidaymakers were murdered on the beach in Tunisia in July, and we know that seven ISIL-related terror attacks against British people have been stopped in the past year alone. Paris could have been London. We need a fresh diplomatic effort to bring peace to Syria, and the Vienna talks offer a real hope of that, with Russia, Saudi Arabia and Iran all around the table for the first time. But there is no hope of negotiating with ISIL. We must stop the flow of fighters, finance and arms to their headquarters in Raqqa. And we need military action to stop them murdering Syrians and Iraqis and to disrupt their propaganda machine, which poisons the minds of our young people to commit appalling acts. For the past 14 months, we've carried out airstrikes to defeat ISIL in Iraq. It makes no sense to turn our planes back at the Syrian border and allow ISIL to regroup there. The United Nations has called on countries to use all necessary measures to defeat ISIL, our common enemy. Actions have consequences, but so too does inaction. We must act to keep our country safe.